Hello friends, I'm Andrei from Ruskier Soft Workshop and in this video I would like to talk more about uh, putting Gate Titan version 3 MOSFET uh, unit inside a V-Box from LCT. So the V-Box is a gearbox, modified version 3 gearbox for uh, VSS, ASVAL, SR3 and SR3M airsoft guns. I showed you before in the previous uh, video what the problem here is. I will recap uh, it shortly. So you have on this series of guns you have the safety, mechanical safety on the right side of the body that is blocking your trigger and you have a two position selector plate to go from semi to fully automatic mode. It is not operated by a single uh, firing selector lever as on uh, AK or G36 series or even on M4 series. It is operated by two handles. So one for safety and a separate one for uh, changing the firing mode. In my previous video I showed you what I was planning to do. So this job is done. And now I would like to talk about how can you program, how can you configure your Titan MOSFET in different uh, configurations to achieve working of this gun. So the first one, first one, uh, I would say it will be using your me mechanical safety to block and trigger, and then using your uh, fire selector mode on the body to go from semi to auto as it meant to work. So uh, I have this config here. I'm using G36 type and for now the readings from the sensor are in semi-automatic mode. If I, if I go to fully automatic mode, if I change the position of the firing mode selector to fully automatic position, you see the sensor is sending that uh, the gun is put to fully automatic mode. Let's go back to the semi. It dropped back to the semi. So this will be first way of configuring the Titan for this gun series, airsoft gun series. In this mode you operate as it should work, so going semi, auto and when you put your safety on the body on safe, your trigger is blocked so you will not be firing. The drawback of this mode is your Titan MOSFET is always on. But if you have seen my first video, with installation video of Gate Titan version 3 MOSFET, when you put your AK or G36 on safety, the Titan MOSFET shuts down, shuts the, actually the, the sensors down. In this configuration, it will not do it. Drawing a battery, but I don't think it's that much. If you have two quite large batteries in the field, you are still safe. Second way of configuring your uh, Titan MOSFET and this gun would be avoiding one of the modes like semi or full auto by configuring something like this. So you move your safe, uh, your safe uh, setting over here to where it was before on the auto and you leave it here on the auto. So your semi setting is actually ignored when you, so for now, for example, in this configuration, if I pull my trigger, the gun will not shoot because it's unsafe. If I change the firing mode to full auto on the body, it will go full auto. If you modify the selector mode here to AK type, you will have safe and semi, so your auto will be jumped over. You see? Now it's on safe, it will not fire. If you move your gun to fully automatic mode it, uh, on the body, the selector on the body to fully automatic position, the gun will be shooting in semi. And there is a third way of configuring a Titan using AOG mode. I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, so let it be OG, <laughs> it's not OD, it's OG. Uh, in this mode, the firing mode 
of your gun is selected by how far you pull the trigger. For example, let me remove the safety to free my trigger. So, for example, if you push your trigger a little bit, you shoot a semi a single shot. And when you pull your trigger all the way back, it will fire in fully automatic mode. In this mode, you have to have trigger discipline to shoot in semi or automatic mode. You can, of course, configure the sensitivity. Let's say a slight pull of the trigger will shoot single. Just for example, if you want to have a very sensitive trigger, for example, to fire in semi, you put the trigger sensitivity low. When you just start pulling the trigger, it will fire in semi. If you want by any uh, reason go to auto, you just pull your trigger further, it will shoot in automatic mode. This actually the three modes I can think of. Uh, maybe you can find more uh, configuration. Now let me show you how all these three modes, uh, three configurations are working on my uh, AS valve. So this is the body of my AS valve. On the right hand side we have a mechanical safety so when you pull the trigger nothing happens your trigger is blocked and the sensitivity is high enough to ignore this slight movement of the trigger so going to release the trigger now the gun is in semi-automatic mode fully auto might need some configuration because uh, this gun is shooting in semi-automatic mode uh, single single uh, and then a burst of two I will have to troubleshoot this but uh, the concept it is working so you can block your trigger to, to put your gun in safe then you go to semi-automatic mode you can go to fully automatic mode it is working so now let me reconfigure the MOSFET and show you the second configuration with electronic safety. Alright, so my my safety switch is off now. And uh, if I pull the trigger nothing happens because the configuration is to go in safe mode. When I put the gun in automatic mode the LEDs are lit and I'm shooting in semi-automatic mode so it works so now when I put the gun to back on semi it's a safety so the LEDs are off uh, under the selector sensor is active now let me go to AUG mode So this is the current config, AUG mode, semi, auto, so a short trigger pull will activate semi-automatic mode, a long trigger pull, a far trigger pull will activate the fully automatic mode. Safety off, battery on, short trigger pull, long trigger pull. And then the safety should work because sensitivity is uh, no sensitivity is probably too low trigger sensitivity. So if I want to use the mechanical safety here, I will put the trigger sensitivity above 10, maybe 12. Some somewhere the pull is actually oh okay, see. So I'm just on a border between safety and semi sensitivity. I will need to increase it a couple of steps. So let me show you what I have modified on the selector plate itself because I have not done anything on the gearbox, just the selector plate. All right, this is uh, what I have done. For me, it will be the final solution. I only will be replacing one spring, this one. 
So what did I modify here? You can see. So this is standard VBox with installed gate Titan MOSFET. Uh, this is the standard selector uh, plate of this VBox. It's different than the AK. So what I did here, I just put some white tape white electrical tape on this part so the sensor can sense the rebound of the light from this white tape modification number one modification number two I just uh, dremeled a small groove that will be able to lock the spring here so the spring will not slide off when it's under tension it just sits here quite good it is necessary to push your selector plate back when you go from semi from fully automatic mode to semi automatic mode otherwise you will have to do it manually and then it will be no, will not be stable when you're running it will be just uh, acting like this you will have no stable firing mode so it can switch from semi to auto from auto to semi spontaneously so the idea is to put the selector plate in its place and to put here a small spring that will actually push your selector plate back when under tension of course the trigger is your selector plate will be more stable so you will not switching spontaneously between the firing modes when you install this in the gun the problem is uh, this part of the selector this part of the selector is pushing against the selector switch on the gun in semi-automatic mode it's actually going too far from the sensors therefore I was having a very unstable reading between safe electronic safe and semi-automatic mode here so I need to figure out how to stabilize uh, the readings what I have done I have put a tiny screw here on the other side of the gearbox screw you have some space here it's an M3 by 6 millimeter screw and then I just dremeled a little bit metal off from the selector plate be careful here you don't want this selector plate go too far you have to stay here on the corner maybe a millimeter between this uh, between this hole for your uh, trigger and the selector plate over here I've gone a little bit too far but for me it's, the readings are still stable so be very careful there so now let me show the change on this side so I just dremeled I just remove some metal here so your selector plate is actually can go only up to the the screw and not falling further so now when I put everything together I have a working selector that is moving enough to sense the difference uh, between semi-automatic and fully automatic mode and when I put here a spring we have actually a stable mode so your this part of the selector plate will always be pushing against the selector, selector switch on your body so in fully automatic mode it will stay here in semi-automatic mode it actually will be blocking blocked by this screw not allowing you to go further so this will give you a more stable semi-automatic uh, sensor readings this is it um, just a small disclaimer if you do it yourself uh, it's your responsibility don't take this video as a as a guide just this video is actually just to show that this is possible when you know what you are doing this is possible to use your gate Titan version 3 MOSFET with the VBOX Thanks a lot for watching this, sorry for talking too much, um, follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. I will be putting more videos online 
later. Have a nice Christmas and end of year.